Hello, this is Chris Charles with ABBA and this Macro Monday solution we're actually solving the challenge of creating a function that uh, counts all of the blank rows. So I've got my, my Visual Basic Editor open and what we're going to do now is we're going to add a module. So we're going to click on that. I added the user form. I didn't want to do that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, now when you'll notice when you remove it's going to ask if you want to save that, but you can do. Um, I'm not going to do that in this case because it was an error. We're adding a module. Now the way that functions work is you yeah, just have to call them a function and then we're going to call this count blank cells. Now the nice thing about functions is you can create some pretty cool stuff. Now the challenge is they're only going to be tied to that workbook. Um, now you could do them um, that's just the best case scenario so if you actually create a cool function it travels with that workbook. So it's um, it can be really nice if you're making dashboards where you have custom calculations uh, but really in this one we're doing uh, the count the blank cells. So um, we, the first thing we need to do is we need to assign variables and this is going to be a range and really that means that we're going to pass in a single variable in our function and that function is going to be a range. Now um, typically you're going to want to define those um, but that's, that's pretty much all we need to do here. Now counting to see if it's blank is actually relatively easy um, and really all we need to do is we're going to do for each CL in RNG and CL is going to be at, for each cell within that range. Okay, next. Now what we need to do is we need to do if we need, we need a counter so let's create our counter variable. CNTR count equals zero and we're going to do we need to do an if inside of our, our loop and really what that RNG for each um, cell does is it goes through each cell within that range and so we're going to go if cl dot value equals blank then we're going to end if and we're going to go cnt equals cnt plus one and that really is just we're going to increment that counter now the only other special thing that you have to do with your functions is you have to pass in you have to pass a value back to your um, your function and so that's really simple count blank we can spell equals C and T now we've got a function and now we can actually use that in um, our, our workbooks which is awesome so we're gonna do count blank cell you'll notice that that's my code I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do these six but I've got two that are full and we're going to see if my code works. It looks like there was four, which is correct, because this would be one, two, those are both full. We have one, two, three, four. So it works like a charm, but that's how you would do a count all the blank cells. That's how you basically create that function. And actually, you'll notice that if we used um, equals count blank, um, if we use that and we highlighted the same area, we would get the exact same answer. Very good. Well, I hope you guys hope you enjoyed this challenge. Make sure you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. You can also check me out on Facebook, and I hope you enjoyed.